The historic musical King Kong tells the story of heavyweight 50s boxing champion Ezekiel Vamini, whose self-appointed ring name was King Kong to the wildly exhilarating music of Todd Machikize. The production, which is currently at the Fugan Theatre in Cape Town, has received five-star reviews and rapturous responses, such as a knockout success, simply magnificent, a tribute to South Africa's performance arts legacy and a theatrical treat. So, yeah, with that in mind, have a quick look at this wonderful musical that features a South African cast with Edith Pikes as the Shabine Queen Joyce. The role that helped to launch the international career of Miriam Makebe in the original production. And from the 2nd of January, multiple award-winning actor and popular TV and film star Desmond Dubé joins the cast into the central role of uh, pop in the production. Take a look at this. The top man, King Kong, built out of stone. King Kong, nothing can stop man. That's me, I'm him, King Kong. Before the Kong will sing the song, King Kong. Desmond Dube joins us from our Seapoint studio now, and with him is musical director Sipumzo Truman Lukwaba. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank Good you. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> I, you know, this is just such a stunning remake. I mean, this is a legendary production. Uh, for those people who haven't seen it, let's just give them a very, very quick overall. What's, what is it all about? Uh, Supremo, do you want to take this? Uh, sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's the story of the, of the rise and fall of Ezekiel Tlamini. Um, who was um, uh, who was a, a famous boxer of of, of 1950s uh, South Africa? Um, it's a tragic life story, as as I see it. Um, one that has so many of of the cultural dynamics of South Africa and so many of the struggles of of, of what is happening in South Africa then and what is happening in in South Africa today. Uh, if I could put it in short, maybe Des can yeah. jump in as the new yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting question as well because, uh, you know, some, somebody asked me, you know, why the story now and why it's important to tell the story now. And I think, you know, it's a, it's a story of, of, of caution. Um, we've seen, uh, you know, heroes fall. We've seen, um, you know, in, in athletics, we've seen story of Oscar Pistorius, O.J. Simpson, um, uh, uh, you know, Jup Jup and, and those kind of stories. And I think it's, it's, it's key that we need to remind people that ultimate power uh, can also ultimately destroy you. You know, um, uh, I think it was the Pope who said, uh, you know, power is like, is, is like drinking gin on an empty stomach. It makes you dizzy, and once you're dizzy, you fall around, you hurt yourself, and you can hurt others around you. So for me, in the industry um, uh, that I'm in, it's, it's absolutely important to stay humble because it, it's a, it's a, it, it, it also affects uh, society going forward, you know, uh, positively affects society going forward just by staying humble, and people can learn from you. Music, though, is what this is really made up of, and it is the most unbelievable um, uh, soundtrack to a production that I think you know South Africa has uh, has had. I mean, the music of Todd Machikize. What makes it so special and unique? I think one could say. Uh, everyone uh, asked me that actually, and I think. Uh, the simplest thing that makes it so unique is that it's so South African. I mean, it's obviously township jazz um, from the 1950s, which has so many influence, influences from our cultural music, um, Baganga, um, Kuela, uh, music, and, and the like. So I, I think what, what's so interesting and fascinating for me is how it, in one number, 
you can have so many varieties of South African music. Um, one of the standout numbers, for instance, is, is, is Kwela Kong and Back of the Moon, of course, which is so yes. famous in our country. Yes. Um, and when you go through the score, when you go through the orchestration, and you look at how they've taken what is, what was used to be at that time, small chamber jazz into this massive big band orchestration, it's just incredible. I mean, when you look at what you've done, you've got a live sure. nine-piece band under the direction of yourself. Um, and this is accompanying the action every single performance. Yes. This can't be an easy thing to do. No, it's not. <laughs> um, I think the most interesting thing for the show, for me anyway, is, is what I run behind the scenes rather than, because I'm conducting, I'm yeah. playing, I'm triggering um, all the effects of the show at the same time. Um, so it's not easy. It's, it's sometimes I'm conducting with my head, sometimes I'm using my arm, sometimes it's a foot that's being used there while I'm playing, so it's a lot. Oh, Spumzo man. also knows, uh, you, you need to remember that I'm joining the, the cast now, um, and Spumzo knows every single line in the show. If I've missed a line, that's the guy to go to, you know. <laughs> um, so amazing. far, I've, 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 you know, I've only had two days rehearsal um, uh, with, with the rest of the cast, but he's my go-to guy because he knows the show. I guess he has to, yeah. you, know? <laughs> you know. Things I mean, fall apart very quickly yeah, if I don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Desmond, for you to be coming into this role, and I mean, you two days rehearsal, this is insane. You know, you look at, you look at a, a, a role of pop in this production. This is a massive role. How's it been for you? You know, um, I think fortunately for me, uh, you, you know, the guy who's play, who was playing the role now, uh, um, Sneh Lada, is fantastic in telling the story. And so it was easy for me to sort of uh, look at how he was telling the story. But I, I think <clears throat> I also still have references. Um, of, of people who came from Sophia Town. We need to remember that Sophia Town, uh, I mean, the, 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 the King Kong as a, as, a, as a production will be celebrating 58 years next year. So, um, you know, some of the people that I know in my life now in their 80s um, um, are still around who, who sort of tell you the story from a different point of view. So, so and I think that's the interesting thing is, is, is that uh, I will have to, to go into those sources to kind of tell the story um, a little differently. Um, or, or perhaps, uh, you know, from their, from their own uh, memory and own mm. uh, uh, um, sort of perspective. But, but I think so far I've had a very supportive, talented cast, um, musical directors who, who are just rallying around making sure that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm supported in, in, in telling the story. I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah, I can imagine. So guys, the run of this production, um, talk to me a little bit about it. Tickets, are they still available? And uh, I, I just can imagine this is going to be a brilliant thing to do while you're there in Cape Town and enjoying your holiday. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think in terms of, of tickets, um, they're available. There are tickets available. Um, I think there, there's okay. really a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But towards the end of December, if I'm correct, mm. um, from the 27th, yeah. um, you've got to get some really good yeah. seats. Until yeah. I think up until then, we've uh, we've we've pretty much sold out. We've been we've been doing well because people um, love the show. Um, but yeah, from Absolutely amazing. around the 27th of December onwards, there's there's plenty of tickets that you should come through to. Yeah. Look, I think I think King Kong is like doing the comrades. At some point in your life, you got to go and see a very good production. Um, um, and, and, you know, go to web tickets, get, get your own tickets, bring your family. You know, it's a family production. Yeah. I found that my, my two daughters coming to watch the show, they were fantastic. They came back again and again and again, which is obviously costly for me. But, uh, <laughs> but they, 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 they wanted to learn the music. They wanted to learn. And, and it just says something about this generational gap yeah. that we've had. So bring your kids, bring your family, web tickets, get your ticket, book now.
and enjoy yeah, it. Listen, don't, don't, please now. do not I know compare. my family's come and seen it five or six times. Mm. All I can say is don't compare it to doing a Comrades Marathon because then I will never get to see it because that is just something that's not on my radar, okay? But I, yeah. but I, but going and watching King Kong is on my radar. Guys, good luck. Thank you for being with us on the program. Yes. Have a beautiful festive season. I hope it is the most successful run ever. Joining us in our Cape Town studio, Desmond Dubé, who's joining the cast of King Kong and uh, fulfilling that role of pop absolutely magnificently in the music. Musical director Sipumzo Truman Lekwaba. Great to have the guys in studio. Let's take a break.